The curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofinet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Dead March difficulty. Today, we are gonna gather our brothers in arms, but first I want to check out the, I think, only quest I haven't done that uh, involves one of the main secondary characters, namely Ermion, and I need to win a uh, unique grand card from him. So we're here at the Druid Circle in Skellige, and we're gonna talk to Ermion. Can we talk? And hopefully I can talk to him first. It seems I can. A round of Gwent, per perhaps. Wouldn't happen to play Gwent, would you? Certainly. I got my first deck, oh, years ago, back in Sintra. Proceeded to teach the game to half of Skellige. Why do you ask? Looking to play? Yes, we are. Uh, I'm probably going to fast forward this one as I did the previous one. So, hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, glad to play around. I am gonna check out what Triss actually does. Nothing, just... I'm gonna leave her outside of the deck then. So, there we go. A monster's deck. So lots of low-level cards usually. Uh, not much else in tow. Uh, I'm gonna remove this one. For a change, I have Yennefer, which is great. I'm gonna remove the Impenetrable Fog and give me ooh, another spy. Spies are great because they, they uh, give you two extra cards. So I'm gonna start off by giving Ermion the advantage here. By placing Dijkstra on the board, and that gives me two more cards. And there's Siri. So I'm gonna let him go ahead and do whatever it is he wants to do. Let's add two more cards to my deck. Or to my hand, I should say. So as you see, a lot of cards in the monster deck conjure up other cards from his own deck, um, limiting the amount of cards he can use. Although, Ermion has, a, has an enormous deck, as you can see. He still has 26 cards in his deck, and I only have 14. Um, 36 is actually something I could bypass. Um, let's see. If I do this, I have 36 already. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Let's first bait him out. Let's see what he does. There he goes again. So that's 44. Um, let's see, let's see. I'm doubting whether I should continue or just forfeit this round, because I am. There we go. So he's going to pass as well and win the round. And the monster deck always causes one card to stay on the board. I don't know what his leader... Your opponent passed. Huh. That's interesting. Hmm. This is 20 if combined, so I shouldn't be using that. So I'm gonna use one of my siege thingies then. So I win that round pretty easily. So, last round. I have 10 cards, now 11. And he only has 6 left, but he can conjure up a lot of extra cards. But, let's see. Let's start off with one of my special cards. If he has mostly... Ooh. Okay. They don't conjure up anything else. Well, let's start out with a few siege weapons. I think I should have this. A lesson. Does it have a special effect? Not effective, okay. Just a standard hero power. A commander's horn. Nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, I don't think Siri does anything special, so let's put Siri on the board as well. Because they're all protected. Then Trek and there won't do anything. Uh, but they only have 9 points, because I have that as well, and that destroys the cards with the highest value of the close combat units when all the close combat units of your opponents reach 10 or more, so I won't be using that just yet. So let's put my archers on the field. Restore a card from your discard pile in hand. Could be dangerous. There we go. Ooh. That's an interesting move. Because that, of course, gives him the edge he needs. Tricks give him the edge he needs, but that also gives me... A really, a really nice play. I'm going to use my leader card. I want to see what happens. So Scorch. 
destroys those. Yeah, okay. Not as bad as you might think. Um, let's put her on the field. And she can restore one of my cards, which is, well, the trebuchet has come back to life for some reason. And Yennefer can actually do the same thing. So now that reaches enough. Let's do that. She can also restore one of my uh, siege weapons. There we go. I wonder what he's going to do, the Frightener. Okay. Let's double up on the close combat units. And then I still have Valen Trettender. Ah, uh, okay, I won. So I'm going to destroy his Valen Trettender. And that's the game! Thank you! Ermion. Crushed indeed. Lovely. My congratulations. You've a good deck, but it could use a bit of supplementation. Here, take this card. Thank Thanks. you, Ermion. You've a knack for it. So much so, you ought to challenge Krach. I gave him his deck, introduced him to the game. But the pupil has surpassed his master. There's also Grimmest, a vile character, but undeniably talented. So I'll do a uh, cross one as well. Ooh, we got the Leshen card. Amazing. So, uh, but we are actually here for the Brothers in Arms quest. So I'm going to talk to Ermion again. Can we talk? To uh, enlist his help in fighting the Wild Hunt. The Wild Hunt will attack Kaer Morhen soon. Gonna need your help. The Wild Hunt? Are you certain? So, uh, you found Ciri? Yes, we I know did. Where she is. And the Wild Hunt will also learn that as soon as I find her. I see. I shall pack immediately. Leave tomorrow at the latest. Thank you. No need. I raised the girl and I've still a duty to her. Thank you, Ermion. see you at Kaer Morhen. So, see you there. So, that's one recruited, I think. Um, so, Ceres isn't here anymore, and Kroch will also be at Kertrolde. So, uh, I'll see you guys right over there. So, back at Kertrolde, I think we can find Ceres in the throne room. So, in the... well, not, not really the throne room. Adventure Seeker. Wait a second. How do I reach that? <laughs> she's upstairs, apparently. Well, I'll talk to Croc first, because he's in the back of the Great Hall. So over here, where we got our reward as well for helping uh, Ceres and Hjalmar. Hello, Croc. Telling you, Geralt. Since you and Yalmer defeated the Ice Giant together, I see you as one of our own. I got the look of a Skelliger. You've got the heart of an Uncrate. Well, that's good to hear, but care for a game of Gwent? You ever play Gwent? Ha! <laughs> Ermion taught me the rules and gave me a deck. Wish to play? Of course we will. Let's play a quick round. So, let's see. I should check out that lesson we got. Look at that. Fancy. But I still prefer using my uh, Northern Realms deck because I'm, well, proficient at that one. So, let's start the game. Also, a monster deck. Um, I don't really need a command horn if I have Dandelion. Ooh, that's not the best way of starting that off. Okay, that's better. Impenetrable Fog isn't that great, but... And a clear weather card, okay. Well, we're gonna have to make do with that. Let's start off as usual with Dijkstra. And get ourselves two extra cards. And my opponent has passed, so that's a great opportunity for me to use Vesemir, because I don't really have no use for him. So let's pass. And that's a one round done already. And I have another card. Let's see here. Um, we could start off with using Siege weapons. Ooh, the botulin, ugh. Gross. So let's see what happens, let's see what happens. I wonder what tricks he has up his sleeve. So that's the Ice Giant, which is really funny, actually. I'm gonna guess he also has Valentrat in there. Um, I'm gonna have to be careful to not overplay my hand. So there goes the Drog. I'm gonna continue my streak. So there we have it, 32 versus 23. There's Geralt. That's the one 
friends of Geralt that I don't have yet. The friends of Geralt cards that I don't have yet. Hmm. This is actually a bit annoying. Could go for this. Torrential Rain is not bad, because that removes his bonuses as well. I'm going to have to go all in on this one. So they're doubled. Okay. Let's see, let's see. I wonder what happens if I use... Because he's not going to surpass that anymore. Um, well, let's use that on Tremor. Oh, he does destroy the ones below the... Ooh, that's dangerous if he does that as well. There goes those cards. Um... Ooh, it's starting to get a bit dangerous. I'm going to use the leader card. I have to go all in right now. So that's an archer. Um, I only have Vesemir in my discard pile, which is actually not bad because I'm going to double that with Dandelion. Um, so there we go. So let's put Vesemir back on the board. This is going to be tense. Fire Elemental. Okay. Um... I'm going to use the clear weather card to remove the torrential rain. So that, that gives me the benefit again. Pick any weather card and play it instantly, so that's an impenetrable four card, which does nothing for me. And then we have... Well, I'm going to play my own as well, because I want to see what happens. What's his last card? Also an impenetrable four card, so I win. I win. Here we go, another doubling. With a whopping 111. Sorry, Krach, but you've been beaten. You're good. Know what, Wolf? I've this rare card here. Take it. It'll Is it Geralt? Is it Thanks. Geralt? You might consider challenging a man in Kertrolda village. A worthy adversary, though a mere tailor. Just as his name. Interesting. But that's gonna be for something else. So we got the Draug. Uh, so Gwen Skellige's style is updated and now we need to talk to Kroch again to enlist his help. Wanted to talk. In the battle for Kaer Morin. Okay, who is facing the wrong direction? Uh, need your help fighting the wild hunt. This isn't easy, but I need to ask you a favor. A big one. Tell me, friend. Siri, I know where she is, but I also know that as soon as I reach her, the wild hunt will know I did. They'll come after us, attack, and we'll need to respond with strength. Can I count on you? The black ones first, now wraiths. Such is life. Bring her here, and we'll face them in battle. Uh, that's not what our plan is. You mentioned Nilfgaard. What's this about the Nilfgaardians? Of late, look seaward and you'll see their son on a sail, staring right back. We've yet to capture any of their crew, but only a fool wouldn't know they're planning something. But fear not, we'll banish the Black Ones and the Wild Hunt. Two birds with one skeleton axe. <laughs> Siri will be safe in Kertrold. Problem is, we don't want to risk it here, so we want to fight them at Kaer Morin. Can't risk your men's lives. Kaer Morin, we fight them there, nowhere else. Kaer Morin is hundreds of miles away. To move an army there would take weeks. Not to mention, I'd expose the Isles to Nilfgaard's blows. Geralt, forgive me, but I cannot do it. I understand. Won't take up any more of your time. Farewell. Wait. Won't let you leave empty-handed. I'll help as I can. Come with me. So despite Kroch not Beautiful willing to help us, Got a talented he's gonna give us a little presence. Not I. King Erland on Crate did. Erland Stonefist? So this is Winter's Blade. Thought I was a legend. Forged in Mahakam, tempered in dragon fire, been in the Oncrate family for centuries, and now it's yours. Excuse me? I can't take this. You can, you must. Let me do this much at least. Well, all right then. If you insist. Thank you. So another sword for the collection. It looks like it hurts parting with the sword, but uh May it serve you well. We're grateful. Send those spectres back where they came from. 
That's my intention. Farewell. Thank you, Croc. Um, I'll check out the sword. It's actually not that bad. It's a bit better than what I'm currently using, the Griffin uh, Steel Sword. But of course, without the sign intensity bonuses I'm used to. Uh, it has native armor piercing and native chances to freeze, plus a 50% bonus to uh, critical hit damage. But, um, well, I like my swords the way they are. Uh, I might switch it for uh, when we actually do the battle. I'm not really sure about that yet. So, next thing we need to do is find Ceres. Uh, I'm not really sure how we would reach her since she's a bit higher up. But I'm guessing we should head outside and then straight into the left. I think there's a staircase over here that leads up. Yeah, here we go. Because the Witcher GPS doesn't show you this route. Hello, Ceres. Your Royal Majesty. Would you spare a moment? Come home, Geralt. I'm the same lass I was, save for the title. A lot of things changed. Okay, then. Um, everyone's mourning King Bran's dead, but we're here for something else. The Wild Hunt. We need your help. Got a delicate matter I wanted to bring up. Need your help. What is it? Crox mentioned Ciri to you. He must have. Have you found her? Not yet, but I'm close. Problem is, as soon as I get to her, the Wild Hunt will probably be able to locate us quickly. So I'll want to take her to Kaer Morin. Battle the hunt there. I'm looking for allies. I can't leave the Isles now. It's impossible. What I can do is give you my best warrior. Yeah, Which I'll is Hjalmar. Be willing. I'm sure of it. In fact, I think I'll be overjoyed. Come on, you know him. Yeah, guess I do. Thanks. No doubt he'll be valiant. I hope he proves useful too. Good luck. So, uh, we need to talk to Hjalmar now, although it's kind of implied that he will immediately join us. I think he's in the room next to hers. So, hello, Hjalmar. Ah, Geralt. How are things? Uh, not so great. The Wild Hunt's preparing to attack Kaer Morhen. Could use your help. Raids at the gate of your Witcher's stronghold. You're a friend of the clan. I cannot refuse you. What's more, no one crates ever stood in battle such a foe. I'll leave at once. Thanks. Won't forget this. And what is really nice about this is that Hjalmar is not the only one heading there. Because uh, since we already saved, also saved Viggy and Folan, I think his name was, when we battled the Ice Giant, they are gonna be at Kaer Morhen as well. So that's a nice bonus to uh, our men that we need. So. Next up is the Burles in Arms quest in Novigrad, so uh, we're gonna pay a visit to Zoltan, Roach and Dijkstra, since Triss is already present at uh, Kaer Morhen by now. So see you guys in Novigrad. So first on the list, Zoltan, he's uh, right here in the Chameleon, so uh, and as I said before, Zoltan is the least... Zoltan. Well, one of the least hard characters to get to your side. I can actually play Gwent with him as well. I wonder if I have his card already. But I think I can do that later on. So, need your help fighting the Wild Hunt. I know where Ciri is. Then why are we here? Let's go get the lassie. I'll do that. But I have another job for you. You need to set out for Kaer Morhen. That's where I'll take Ciri. The Wild Hunt will attack soon afterwards. We could use you at our side. You'll have me... And my axe! So that was easy. Thanks. See you at Kaer Morhen. Vesemir, Eskel, and Lambert are already there. And Triss, Kira, Yennefer, and a whole buttload of other allies. So, next up, Dijkstra. We'll see uh, if he wants to help. Oh, I wish my man was bright as you. Got a minute? I'll so, Dijkstra. Do. What do you want? Let's see if he wants to help us. Wasn't sure I should even ask you. Still not. But what the hell? I could honestly use some help. 
Oh, my help. Very interesting. Do tell. Wild Hunt's gonna attack Kaer Morin soon. It's a sure thing. Looking for people, resources, anything that'll help me repel them. The Wild Hunt? Don't tell me you believe that nonsense. Well, it's Hardly true, Dijkstra. Got a taste of it. A painful taste. On my own skin. Hmm. Sorry, Geralt, but I've my own pile of problems just now. I've not recovered my lost property. Your help, you might remember, left much to be desired. So I don't owe you shit. So, there we go. We could have uh, gotten his help if we haven't, hadn't lied to him. And the other requirement is uh, that we actually complete the deadly plot quest, which we did. But uh, since we have lied too much to the man, he doesn't trust us and he doesn't feel like he owes us anything, as you have heard in his, uh, well, not so lovely words. So let's go talk to Roach, which should be, who should be uh, indebted to us. So see you guys at the uh, Brabble's camp. So, at the Marion Gorilla camp. Let's see where Roach is, so we can uh, enlist his and Vass's help. Yeah, there he is. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Uh, of course. Why wouldn't we be? Could use your help at Kaer Morin. Aim to take Ciri there. Wild Hunt's bound to appear soon after. You didn't turn your back on me when I was in need. It's only fair I do the same. Thanks. Venture to say your skills might prove invaluable. I'll consider whether to bring Vess. Either way, I'll see you at Kaer Morin. So there we go. Brothers in arms in Novigrad complete. Now all that's left for us to do is go and talk to uh, Emir and uh, see if he can help us out with a few uh, Nilfgaardian troops, which would be awesome, wouldn't it be? So uh, see you guys at Vizima. It's back at the royal palace of Vizima. I'm apparently overburdened. I'm not. So why does it show that? That's weird. I'm not overburdened. Stop showing me that. Maybe it's because I don't have Roach at my disposal here. That the extra carry weight is not present. Which is a bit silly, but... I'm gonna stroll my way towards the Emperor then. You are in I'd fain. I'm here. I'm coming. Wait for me. It's funny that they let me stroll in here just like that. Your Imperial Majesty. Witcher, why have you come? Uh, found your find daughter. Your is. Well, find not her. really your daughter, I but... I've begun to doubt the wisdom of enlisting you. Bring her here at once. The Wild Hunt's pursuing her. Kaer Morin's the only place she'll be safe. That was not a suggestion. I can defend my own daughter. Hmm. Don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. Against conventional foes, the wild hunt's different. Facing it here would put Vizima at risk. Hundreds of innocents could die. Kaer Morhen is in a wilderness, and your army stands to be far more helpful there. Hmm. Agreed. I shall send a banner with you. On one condition. General Voris will lead it. Can't agree to that. And I cannot agree to witches commanding my troops. Well, I'm not about to give in. You don't look it either. Sorry to take up your time, your majesty. Bring me Siri. I will, if that's what she wants. And there we go, the Emperor doesn't want... Well, he does want to help us, but since General Voorhis should be at the head of his troops, Geralt, for some reason, doesn't she like that. So, uh, that's it for the Brothers in Arms quests. Hope you guys enjoyed the preparations for the Battle of Kaer Morhen. I'm not gonna do the battle 
right about now. So I'm not gonna do the Isle of Mists just yet. I do have a few secondary quests I want to do first, just in case uh, they get failed after the uh, the battle because of uh, whatever might happen there. I don't really know what secondary quests uh, disappear after you do that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give the thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really appreciate the support. But uh, as for the rest, thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye.